Based in Colorado, OptiBike has been leading the world of electric bikes since 2007 when the first OptiBike was released. It has been featured on ESPN, The Today Show, Forbes, The New York Times, and much more in its tenure. OptiBike has its products in over 33 countries, and each e-bike is handcrafted by the best. And their latest edition, the R22 Everest, is no different. So what makes the R22 Everest special? To put it in the company's words, the R22 Everest received its name because it could scale the entirety of Mount Everest if a rideable trail existed on its slopes. That theoretical feat is only possible thanks to its 3.2 kilowatt hour battery, which gives this impressive bike a range of over 300 miles. Now that range has a few caveats. It's assumed that the rider is around 160 pounds and the bike is only going around 15 miles per hour with pedal assist set to low. If you wanted to let it rip and push the R22 Everest to its limits, you could hit up to 36 miles per hour. A 1.7 kilowatt motor and 14 speed gear drive are what push this fine beast of an e-bike. While it isn't possible to scale Mount Everest, this e-bike is still a menace on the roads or off them with 140 pound-feet of torque and an astounding ability to climb 40% grades. That torque also makes it an excellent bike for tugging along a small camper for a trek into the outer wilds. And as an optional addition, you can purchase a 2,700 lumen headlight. Coming in a little heavier than most e-bikes, the R22 Everest tips the scales at 93 pounds, so it's meant for experienced hill climbers. If you want one of these high-end e-bikes for yourself, be ready to pay high-end prices, as the R22 Everest is being sold for no less than around $17,900. As always, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video. Are you a hardcore rider and like what you see? Do you want to see a more affordable version in the lineup at some point? Head on down to the comments to let us know what you think about this electric mountain bike. Your feedback is always appreciated. And stick around for our honorable mentions right after this. Aesthetics mix well with performance in the Outcross from Gen 3, a Washington-based company. An elegant design with big old four-inch tires for a smooth ride, whether rain or snow. You'll need six hours to fill up the 48 volt UL certified battery from zero, but the 35 mile range should suffice for most riders. Be warned that this bike and its 500 watt motor aren't for everyone as it does sit a bit high. If interested, you can pick it up for around $1,699. Next up is a company that plans to have a dealership network of over 200 dealers across the U.S. Unero is a company that has more than 11 years of experience in the industry, and they seem intent on making some pretty great bikes if the reviews are anything to go by. And the reviews are no less praising of the Defender S Pro. This is a relatively traditionally designed bike chassis but with twin motors, batteries, and suspension. You heard that correctly. The Defender S Pro is equipped with not one, but two 750 watt motors, specially made. Designed to be the ultimate hunting e-bike, the Megatron from Rambo Bikes features dual 1000 watt hub motors with a 34 amp hour battery. With a range of 80 miles, you can get to nearly any hunting site and back. And with all-wheel drive, you can do so as easy as can be. Of course, you could switch between that and either rear or front-wheel drive instead. Picking up a Megatron will run you $72.99.99. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.